Hi, Sharon here again. Okay, today I'm still addicted to this laminating. Um, I thought I'd pop on and show how I laminate both sides on um, a sheet of paper to make a pouch. This is the sheet I'm going to use. I'm going to do an A4 one. Now there's two ways of doing it. Um, there's like this one, the whole four one here. Or there's one where I've just cut it out and I've actually put in a small insert in there so that it makes it a little bit wider. The insert isn't laminated. Anyway, right, first of all, I take my sheet, I fold it to where I sort of want it and where I want the cover, the uh, flat bit to come down as well, the front bit. And then fold like that. I then take it to the um, scoreboard and I do run the score down here just to make sure that's reinforced so that, whoops, so that when you um, laminate it it's it much much easier to bend like that and then I also round off the corners of the bit that flaps over put straight into the pouch as I say this is all quite simple and straightforward this bit um, lining it up which I am not doing very well with at the moment okay there we go put it through your laminator which I've got sitting over here on the side. Right, wait for that to go through. Okay, both of these I've used freebie papers um, from G. Kerr, and I keep it keeping my black and white ephemera in them. Some of her freebies and some others that I've got. Um, and I've used these little poppers to go on as well which are quite good like that. and then this one's the same I've got my black and white ephemera in here I did make a mistake when I was putting the poppers on of putting them too far down and I had trouble I had to unglue this side and to get these poppers on so when you're doing it please be careful with that and this side I've this one rather with the gusset, that's the word that goes in there. That was a little bit tricky measuring the gusset. I think I would have probably made it a little bit wider um, if I do it again. Right, okay, that's laminated. So I then get the scoreboard again and just run this down again scoring down there just to make sure and again on this side just run it down just to make sure whoops dear oh dear it is quite difficult I will say because I've got it on the white side so you're trying to see where it's coming up that's it there like that and then I just sort of gently manipulate up oh and I've forgotten my bone folder no crashes this time I didn't knock anything off the desk as I wheeled myself over okay just push down with the bone folder and the same here there and there and as you can see it folds quite well there are no um, cracks or anything in the laminate when you fold it. And the next thing I do is I get um, use E6000 glue. I found this does, these were all stuck with E6000. I get a toothpick, whoops, and I gently. Take it down the side here, 
Now it does kind of overrun a bit. You don't need lots of it, as you can see. I find the toothpick a lot easier all the way to the top. Do it both sides here as well. Just straight down. Right, I hope everything's okay where you all are. The weather here is atrocious. We're expected large storms this weekend, but hey ho. One of those things, okay, my glue is not brilliant. It's getting a bit on the bobbly side. And this does stick, I think, quite quickly. Like that. Then I just got a piece of tissue actually and wipe the mat before I stick everything up. It does rub off quite easily. Then I just push that up there, fold it down. Now this does take a bit of um, manoeuvring and holding down. And what I tend to do is once it's done, is I will stick or put um, bulldog clips all around the edges. So whoops, I won't bore you and show you every single one, but I do line them up all along there. And then all along here, and I do tend to keep them overnight or for a few hours just to make sure it sticks down quite well. And then you end up with these, which I think are lovely. Um, I also, I forgot to say, you round the corners off here and here, <laughs> maybe. Now it's stuck. That's it. And one of the other things I did do with these was I did trim the edges a little bit on the um, laminate there and there. This is the kit that I use for the poppers. Um, you can get it off of Amazon. You get a whole complete set of different poppers. Um, and they are... You get male and female ones. Can't remember which way round they are. But as you see, you get the bit that goes inside that bit. I think they're male and they're female. And then you also get the tool kit with it as well. So you get quite a lot. And it's about 15 pounds, 15 euros, 15 pounds. I'm not too sure. One of the other things I've noticed though, when you're punching the holes to put where you want it, the um, poppers to go, I'm using just an old... Um, loyalty card from a bar over here and you push that in there and then put your hole through using your pokey tool so otherwise I found I did start going straight through to the other side go straight through to the other side which is not a good idea anyway I hope all that helps and you can find these kits if you want one on um, Amazon as I say, I've been using them a lot. They come in lots of colours. Okay, thanks very much for looking. And I hope uh, you have a go yourself. Thanks, bye.